I've gone ahead and created a repository. I'm calling it one for 100. It's under my username, so ableson1. And I've created a couple of folders within that repository. One is for arrays and the other one is for objects. The goal here is to create a template of the hierarchy that we discussed in our online meeting. So let me go ahead and show you what that looks like uh, locally on my machine. I'll go ahead and open that and my terminal. And as you can see here, I have a folder for arrays, exercises, and one for objects. Now, if I move into arrays, my font's pretty small, but as you can see there, I have exercise 01, EX01, and EX02, as well as the solutions for them. So let me go ahead and show you what the students would see. I have a pretty big font here. So you can see here, this is an exercise. I am asking them in lines 4 through 16 to get the length of this array. So they would have to fill in this code here in this, this section, right? I'm also attaching every function, every exercise to an object. As you can see here on line 2, I initialize or I declare uh, an object called exercise and then through the rest of the file I am attaching all of the functions to that object. The reason I do that is that when we run testing we can reach in and look at those functions what the student wrote in and we do that by writing this at the end of the file module.exports and we assign that object. I have uh, as I mentioned uh, some basic exercises there. This one is a little bit more involved. It talks about ordering a list of numbers. And as you can see there, I am doing it not with functions within JavaScript, but simply uh, an exercise where they have to think a little bit more about what they're doing. Ultimately, I return that number just as before. So that's the hierarchy of the exercises that we described. I'm now going to show you uh, the tests and the convention for Mocha Chai is to have the tests in a test folder uh, and the file name is test and I'm going to show you that here at the top we pull in those files so as you can see here I have EX01 basic solution, EX02 order solution and now that I have them as objects within the test file I can use them so the next uh, number of tests are testing those those functions that we were going over in the files so for example on this one when I'm asking them to return the length of the array I have here a should which is part of the chai part of things where I call the function this is ex length should equal 4 and if we go back to the solution you can see here that in that, in that uh, exercise here in that function, after the declarations, this gets the length of that array and simply returns it. And so this is simply checking what uh, students did in their code. And as you can see here, I am going through and checking each one of those. So I'm gonna go ahead and run the exercise just so you can see what it looks like. So I'm gonna go back to I'm going to move into arrays. As you can see there, I have my files. And I'm simply going to enter mocha and then test and test. I'm going to go ahead and run it. And as you can see there, we get some feedback. It says array exercise has length off, then match text has item order list of numbers, right? So that's pretty, pretty basic, but that gives us a skeleton that we can work with. Uh, I've already gone ahead and uploaded all these changes. You can see the code there. You can download it. Uh, make sure you install uh, Mocha and Chai. I've been doing it for every folder that I am creating. So after you download the repo for every new folder that you create, and make sure you create a new folder for every new group of exercises for that long list that we discussed in our meetings. Uh, you will have to install Mocha Chai. And as you can see it there, I'm running MPI in it. And maybe I should do a short little demo. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and pause so I can set everything up. So let's go ahead and do a dummy folder here. We'll write dummy. 
And inside of here, let me go ahead and navigate to that. And here, we'll go ahead and do dummy. Now inside of here, I will run npm init, and this will create the package file. And then I will simply add mocha chai, right? So let me go ahead and npm install, well, no, not install, but init. And I'm going to go ahead and leave the default name, default version, description, dummy test, uh, entry point, that's fine, test command, let's not enter one, although I should have entered Mocha. Uh, no Git repository, because this is simply a subfolder within that hierarchy. Uh, let's just call it dummy for keywords and give it a license of MIT. Is this okay? We'll say yes. At this point, now we can go ahead and install. And as you can see, if we take a look at it, uh, at this point, there's only that package, that JSON that we just created, but there's no additional folders. And if I installed Mocha, and I enter the save option, then you'll see that we now have a nodes module folder. And I'm gonna do the same one more time and simply add chai. And now we're ready to test. So you have Mocha and you have Chai. You now would add your exercises and your test folder, and you can use the other uh, repositories or the other folders that are created as a template. So that's it for this. Uh, this is just a high level overview. Uh, let's go ahead and have a follow up meeting to clear up any, any questions that my, you might have.